guys, welcome back to another episode of Rise and World with your truly the Hermit Hood. Last episode, we beat around a bush a little bit and we went off to the desert. We built this little thing of a bobber inside of here, and just you know what? I decided I was going to do something different. Okay, um, I'm not going to use cheaty blocks. I'm not going to use cheaty blocks at all. And instead, we're going to build this entire thing at, in survival mode with the blocks that are in the game and in the game only. And if we want to use things like this, then we'll get a mod for it. But meanwhile, there's actually something I, we want to do. All right, so on the exterior of this place, guys, we have a greenhouse that we have to build. And on the inside of the house, I actually have these little things that I chose. Okay, um, I want to see how tall these things are, first of all. Um, let's see how tall this thing is. Okay, so this, this thing, it stands a little too tall for my liking. Alright, I imagine this thing would probably stand maybe one, two, maybe two blocks tall. But it stands a little too tall for my liking. Um, we would have to blueprint this thing and shove it down into the floor for it to even work properly for the way I want it to work. But I'm not going to use that. I mean, we can't set anything on it. We're looking at a greenhouse here. So I went over, I grabbed myself a few stacks of wood. Um, I also think we still have some unless we used it all. Let's see here. We got this. All right. And let's go ahead, let's head over into this thing. Let's go to construction. Let's go to the wood planks. Um, wait for this thing to stop spinning out of control. Thank you. All right, let's bring this thing up and let's look for a plank that looks like it'll work nice for outside. Okay, so I'm looking at these and you gotta remember this is a department store and we want it to look nice for outside. And this looks like it's worn. It looks good. I think this will work right here. All right. We need a lot of lumber for this. So first things first is let's hop over to our crafting inventory. Let's go to resources. Let's go to lumber. Let's go ahead and do max. Well, no, not max. But uh, let's do uh, 30, 16. All right. That will give us 64 of those. Let's do max on this. That'll give us 64. All right, we're going to need a little bit more than that. Let's just do max. And again, max on these. And let's head outside. And on the exterior of this place, I want to set this thing down. I want to bring it all the way out where it's nice and flat. We're going to bring up that grid. We're going to hit the con and we're going to shrink this thing down as far as we possibly can. Maybe. All right. Let's hit control on that while it's there. Can we bring it up? No. All right. Bring the grid off. All right. Um, bring the control off. And just straighten this up. Let's make sure it's as long as it is. Is that the longest we can get it? All right. All right, so the exterior of this place. All right, make sure it does have a little bit of a crack in the floor. Not too big, but just enough. I guess this will do right here. And let's see how far over we can bring this. No, I don't want to bring it to there. I want to bring it to like the edge and then bring it down. Yeah, to about here. You know what? Let's just bring it the full 64 and see how long that is. 
All right, would that interfere? Yeah, that would interfere with the other store. I want it to make sense because not too far. All right. There we go. Now, let's also, let's add a little bit more to this. So, let's head o all the way out here again. I want to... Hit the control key or is it enter? Control, no. Nope. Hit the answer key off. I can't see my line. All right, how far over does that go? Actually, that seems to be about perfect. But we need to get this grass out of the way. All right, so let's stop and let's move this out of our way here. And we need a tool. We got to get rid of this grass. Yeah, I just took the long way around. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll, we'll deal with that in just a moment. Okay, inside of here, did I bring all of my tools with me? Or did I leave them behind? Alright, set this right here. Hey, donkey. Do you got any of my tools, buddy? You got some wood on you. I'll take that. And this. He's also got a load of stone and some dirt on him. We packed him up nice and good last time. Since when does he have two inventory slots? Uh, you don't have anything. What the heck? Okay, where did my stuff go? I'll be back. Alright, guys. I can't seem to find my sickle anywhere. My scythe. Well, yeah, the scythe. Aha, never mind. There it is. Alright, so what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to switch this thing over into montage mode. We're going to get started on cleaning this up back here. Um, we're going to add a base to this, make it look like it's actually a part of this, maybe raise the grass up a little bit, add a base up underneath this, um, add some walls to it possibly. Um, I think I want to use graded iron for the walls, you know, because we don't want anybody just coming in here and just taking stuff. So we're going to use graded iron walls for it to keep people out from just walking in here taking things or running off with it because I'm thinking I want to add like dirt piles in here or something like that at some point um, inside of here we can sell like soil we can sell stone we can sell plants pots and potted plants some seeds all kinds of stuff and things but we need to do a bit of a work outside here all right in order to bring the uh, exterior to life I mean this is where all of the this is where a lot of it's gonna come to life so you know what let me just shut up and let's bring this thing into montage mode guys and let's get this place cleaned up get it ready to go and let's get started on this
some things you get these phone calls and they uh it's you can obviously tell they're people from different countries and they can't speak english too well and they sit and they ask you the strangest of questions and they expect a response i I don't know how to respond to people like that no more. It's just like, I want to hang up on them. I mean, I just had this uh, strange phone call from somebody saying, Oh, we're from the state police department and we're looking for, uh, we're looking for handouts pretty much. Okay. And that's, that's pretty much all they're looking for. They're looking for handouts. They're looking for people to, uh, they're looking for people to donate money to their uh, funds and, you know, to give them a helping hand. And, you know, in all honesty, if I could afford it, I would help them. But out of curiosity, this time I said, okay, yeah, I could help you. You know, just out of curiosity to see how they would respond. And I ended up with this... Uh, woman that comes on the line it can't sh she can't speak english for the life of her and i'm thinking in the back of my head okay what's with this bobblehead <laughs> now part of me on this one i mean i'm sorry i mean i don't mean to say offense to anyone or anything like that it's just like what the heck is wrong with you I mean, if you can't speak English, why the hell would you even bother? I mean, I mean, I mean, I don't, 
I just don't know. I don't understand. All right. Why do people always contact you? And they're from different regions of the globe. If you can't speak English for the love of you. Now, I know Rising World attracts people from all over the world. Okay. And it has all kinds of super, very, whoa. Ooh, cool. We can climb up on the roof of GB Plaza now. Oh, ain't that something? But, uh, it attracts people from all over the globe. And, you know, I respect all the cultures around the world. But there's some people in, out there in the world that just, they're, it's not like they're, it's like they just don't care. They don't care about you. They don't care for you. They just, they're just looking for handouts. And it just disgusts me that they, I find it disgusting. And these things right here, these, these things that we're building right here, these, I'm sure you guys are aware of shelving, but these type of shelves, guys, I don't know if, if, if you've ever been to like a store like a Home Depot or Lowe's and they have all these cool looking shelves in the stores where they sell all their merchandise on. See, I don't want this thing too big. So I can see this one needs shrunk. Whoops. Uh, yeah, that way. And now we can see how further over we got to bring this. Wrong way. All right, and that looks like it has to shimmy over to the left. Give me to the left again. I mean, I honestly, I do not have a problem with people from anywhere around the globe at all. All right, it's just that if you can't speak English, why would you even call my house and say to me? We need a donation for your local police, but yet we can't speak English. <laughs> um, it's like, hello? Um, are you sure you're from my local police department? So, I call my state police department. And they tell me, well... We only make those phone calls once a year, and that's usually in the fall. And we haven't started making phone calls like that just yet. So this wasn't my local state police department. It wasn't even my, uh, man, let me see here. We got to organize this. We got crops growing on this. <laughs> Pretty cool. I want to see if I can put a planter on here of some sort, but these things kind of look good. Look, we're growing crops, guys. We got crops, we got ferns, we got flowers. This florist is going to be doing, is going to flourish. It's going to be doing really good, okay? So you come outside, you got all your plants and stuff and things. Um, let me see here. I got an idea, all right? Um, we can place, let's see here. We want to keep the bugs away, so we're going to put a, uh, let's put one of these out here in the middle. I mean, obviously, we want to keep put our citronella candles out, keep the bugs from bothering the people. So, there we go. Put our citronella candles out, and we can put a chest in here, okay? A crate of some sort. Yeah, give me this. All right, um... We'll put a crate and we'll sell citronella candles. Yeah, we'll sell citronella candles. All right. That sounds good. I like that. I like that idea. Sell citronella. All right. Let's go build ourselves a crate. A small one. Okay. Um, a small crate. Let's see here. Go to chests. Let's go to crate small. There you go. And how big is that little bad boy? Let's see how small you are. Huh. You know, this might actually be a good... No. Should we? 
No, not that one. I'd like to decorate this thing. You know, I think it would be kind of cool. Buy your citronella here. Yeah, this should this should sit on top of something. All right, so let's say we take this crate and we place it. Oh, yeah, this will work out nicely. So we take this and we place all our citronelli candles inside of it. All right, and our donkey has to have a whole bunch of these on him. All right, so we sell these. All these citronella candles. We'll say we sell these for like, uh, you know what? Take paper and we can name it. I hope we can change the name of the, like the NBT stat tags of uh, some of these items in the game. That would be cool. All right, that would be nice. All right, so we got all our citronella candles inside of there. That needs a sign. So, I kind of like using paper for currency. But uh, we'll figure out a currency later. We could put our citronella candles inside of there. For right now, we need a small sign. We do. We need a small sign. Standing sign? No. Metal sign? No. Not a stone sign. Um, wood sign? Okay, and we'll put this on the crate. Citronella, we'll say $5. Oh, that thing's a bit... Uh, no, why can't I... All right, fine. No. There you go. Sit. Citronella. Citronella. We'll say five dollars. Okay. Five dollars each. Well, five dollars for a stack of like We'll say a twin pack, $5 for two. So, whoa, what the heck was that? Okay, all right, so let's just say we, all right, you buy them in sets of two. And here he goes. We buy these things in sets of twos. That way you can fill this thing up a little bit better. All right, let's see if that actually stayed. Yeah, we can sell them in sets of two, okay? So basically you pay $5 for two citronella candles and they're relatively tall and they keep the bugs away. So yeah, $5 for two. I like that idea. So basically we'll say five pieces of paper equals $5. Okay, that's not half bad. I like that idea. Now, next episode, I think what we're going to do is we're going to come inside the store and we're going to start to deck it out inside of here. Maybe we'll add some seeds in here. I'm probably going to use this thing right here, which gives me an idea. Okay. Um, I want to craft a poster, but I need paper. Um, close this, please. I need paper, so I need to go find my grinder. I know I have one around here somewhere. I just got to find it. And I'll bring, not my 
grinder, but I have a uh, paper thingy. Okay, and the paper thingamabobber, I think we're going to add into a bank. And it'll be like the, uh, it'll be like the currency, okay? It'll be the currency. So, you know how, you know how whenever you go to a bank, you have, uh, you know how you have, what is it? You got the money printer? Um, well, we'll have a money press. So, we'll have our, we'll cut all the, uh, paper press a money press. What do you think? What? Nothing? Oh, fine. Let's just go take a screenshot. You and your... You and your stairs, okay? But the greenhouse looks good. It does. Well, the exterior of it, at least. We got some citronelli candles lit up out here. It looks good. It does. It really does. It looks good, guys. Um, I think we did a good job on this. In all honesty, I think we did. Let's just get into the corner so we can get ourselves a good screenshot of this. You know what? It usually helps if you turn your HUD off. There you go. Let's try that again. Get a screenshot from over here. Get one from over here. You see our Citronelli $5. <laughs> And I'll share these screenshots on the Reddit. I mean, not on the Reddit. On the uh, forums. Let you guys see what... See, you guys can let me know what you think, okay? Um, we do need some flower images. Some stuff and things. If you guys get any ideas, let me know. But I gotta get some posters for this right here. Yeah. And... Yeah, I'm gonna let this go, guys. I'm gonna let this go just the way it is. Um... We got to get a money press. We got to build a bank. Which leads me to this right here. Okay. This empty plot right here. We can put an ATM on the side. Uh, build a little bank thing over here on this side. So this will be like your uh, one-stop banking. Okay. So you got your general store. You'll have your bank. And... You'll have your antique dealer over here, which deals in, well, he sells your furs, he sells your antlers, your moose, and, well, all your odds and ends for uh, all your decorative needs. And you could do your grocery shopping, you could do your furniture, no, not a furniture store, but I think you guys get what I mean. It's a pretty nice store. Um... Like a shopping district. That's pretty much all this is. But I think it's coming together. It's coming together. Tomorrow, let's do the inside of the store, guys. Let's do the inside of this place. It looks a bit empty. The outside looks good. At least I think it does. Take care. See you next time. Later. <laughs>